Hey Odoers, my name is Jose Ignacio. Now in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to generate leads from event registrations, booked appointments, and website visitors. All of which are made possible thanks to Odoo's ability to integrate other useful applications such as Odoo Events and Odoo Website along with Odoo CRM. And that's pretty cool that everything's connected. So, enough chit chat, let's jump right into our database to see how we can generate leads with event registrations, booked appointments, and web visitors. Now, just like I mentioned in the other videos, in order for any of these lead generation methods to work, you're going to need to have the leads feature activated in the CRM app settings first. So don't forget to do that before you give any of these a shot. But once that you've got that ready to go, you're going to be able to generate leads in a number of different ways. Now, for this video, we're going to start things off right now in the events app. But from here, we're going to go up to configuration and lead generation. We have one right there right now, but we're going to select new. Okay. So this is where you're going to find all the lead generation rules that you've configured or new ones that you're going to be creating for events. To learn more about that, check out our events tutorial on lead generation. It's a solid video as well. Anyways, from here, we're going to click on new, which is where we're already at at this point, and we've got to give it a name. So we're going to pick on annual. Perfect. Now, up next, I'm actually going to keep the create field to per attendee at this point and the win to field when attendees are created right now. And that basically means that when a lead is created, it's going to be because of every single attendee once that they sign up for the actual events. Now below we have the option to apply this rule to any other categories or specific events as well if we have one in mind. But we're going to leave these blank and leaving it blank means that they're going to apply to all of our events. And if we really wanted to get really spicy with this, we can actually pick specific attendees that we want to target. And we can configure some detailed conditions in these if the attendees field that we have down here with other conditions, and it'll tell us how many records match right there. But we're going to leave all of this blank for now just so that I can give you a very generic type of rule. Now, inside of the last section over here, we can actually add tags or assign this rule to a specific sales team or salesperson. But those fields aren't required. However, the one option that must be configured in this section is the lead type field that we have right there which should be set to lead. Okay, now that we've got all of that in order, let's pretend to be a customer. We're gonna register for the event on our website. So here we are on the Stealthywood Annual Conference event page. Now from here, we're gonna select register in the top right corner, and we're gonna select the free ticket because we don't have any money. Now we're gonna pick Sammy Samples as our name, Sampleton over there, give ourselves a really good phone number, which is going to be all fives because I also don't have a phone number. And let's just give some eagle plan. All right. Perfect, we're all set right there and we're registered. Now up next, I'm going to take us back over to the back end to see what we just did. Now once we open up over here inside of our CRM app and we're gonna select leads up at the top. Ah, right there, there he is. Sammy Samples is captured. All right, now let's say that a potential customer is so interested in our products that they wanna schedule an appointment with us for a free consultation. Great, we can actually generate a lead from that appointment booking as well. Now to do that, we're actually gonna go back to our main dashboard and select website. Now up here at the top, we're going to select configuration and appointments. And I want you to hit that new button on the far left. Perfect. Now from here, it's time to create this because on this appointment form, there are a lot of options that we can customize, but we're only going to be focusing on a couple for this tutorial, but don't worry. Oh, doers. We have a separate video that dives deeper into the details about website appointments. So be sure to check that out to learn more for now. We're got to give this a title in our case, free consultation. Everyone loves a free consultation. Now, all of these default configurations are pretty good already, so we're going to leave them as is, including the availability days as well. So once that that's all set up, it's set up to a normal weekday hours at this point. So we can actually just jump right into the options tab over here. Great. Here, we're going to find even more in-depth options that we can play around with. But for this example, I actually just need to focus on the create opportunities box that we have over here. It's unchecked. Make sure it's checked. We're going to need that to ensure that all booked appointments create opportunities in our pipeline. And once we have all of our desired configurations in place, we're actually going to go up to the top where it says go to website and we're going to select that button over here. Now, right now, I want to direct your attention to this red unpublished area. We're going to toggle this switch over there and make it published just so that we can make this appointment option available to our website visitors over here. Almost had a small little doopsie there. So let's jump over to that website so I can show you what that looks like. So here we are on the very beautiful blank white artistic stealthy wood page. Now let's go over here to appointments and we're going to pick a random date. We're going to pick Valentine's Day on the 14th because we're not doing anything and we're going to pick 6 a.m. bright and early. Up next, we got to fill in some information that's required right here. So we're going to put sample name and our email is sample at fake email dot com. And our phone number once again is a fake phone number right there and perfect. 
confirming it. So back over here on Odoo, we're going to head into CRM, and this time direct your attention to the new stage, and we'll see that free consultation booking. How cool is that? Now lastly, let's say that we have a person who visits our website, but they didn't fill out any forms or contact us at all. Odoo can actually still record them as a lead if they meet certain criteria that we're looking for. Now to set that up, you're going to want to be in the CRM app as we are right now. Go to Configuration and Settings. And we're going to go down to the very bottom where it says Visits to Leads. Make sure that this checkbox is checked off. And once that you do so, you'll basically notice that something new appears. And this is the Credits option. And that's because it's an important thing to mention that this feature requires credits. Because once your page reloads after you've selected this checkbox, it's going to appear as a link that you can click to take you to a page where you can buy credits. Now, inside of this separate page, you'll notice that you can purchase credits. And even further than that, you'll notice if you direct your attention to the upper right corner, you already have some credits as part of Odoo's initial trial offer if you are on one. All new users get 20 credits for free to try things out, which is pretty cool. But you need to purchase more credits if you want to use more than those 20. And that's something where, that you need to know and where to purchase it. Now, you can also learn more about in-app purchases or IAPs in our documentation. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. But for right now, let's go out of here and go back over here. All right. Now, I want to talk about the visits to leads. So right now, we're going to go up to configuration and visits to leads rules over here. Now inside of here, we're going to firstly click new. And I want to direct your attention again over here to this blue banner. One credit is consumed per visitor matching the website traffic conditions and whose company can be identified. Well, that basically means one credit is consumed per lead generated. Now let's say that we want to create our lead from every time a person from a Belgian tech company visits our website. So we're going to call this Belgian tech visitors. I'm very unique with these names, as you can tell by now. Great. Now for the country down here, for the traffic conditions, we're going to select Belgium. Once that it loads right there, great. And we're going to leave the other ones blank. I want it to basically target all of the websites and web pages that we have. But going further down over here for industries, I just said it's technology people. So we're going to do technology, hardware, and equipment. And we're done right there. Now, the other thing that I want to remove is the filter on size right there. That's just so that I can apply this rule to all Belgian tech companies regardless of their size. If you wanted to filter it, this is where you would do so. And while there are other options that we can customize on this form, the one option that we'll need to pay attention to is, again, the type field down here at the bottom, which I'm actually going to change over to lead right there. I want leads created. And while we're here, let's go ahead and choose our European sales team. And you'll notice you can actually do that, and that's pretty cool. And that's actually it. We're fully done with all these configurations in place. Odo will use visitors' IP addresses and related contact information to determine whether or not they fit this criteria. If they do, Odo will automatically create a lead from our European sales team over here to handle inside of the CRM app. And that's whenever they arrive anywhere on our website. And how cool is that? And that's it, folks. That's how we can generate leads based on event registrations, appointments, and website visitors. We pretty much catch everything. So stay tuned for more awesome CRM-related information coming your way in the next video. Trust me, it's going to be another good one. Go grab a snack.